You are in for a treat this morning. Today we're going to give you a little taste of a made in Key West food tour. This isn't just about the food. This is a cultural tour that will leave you with a better understanding of how Key West came to be. Whether you're a tourist or you're a local, this is a one of a kind experience that you don't want to miss. So the best way to learn about a culture is to try all their different cuisines. So this tour is a makeup of what I think inspires and influences Key West cuisine. So Cuban and Caribbean, seafood and tropical fruits. And I wanted to start this food tour just to give people the real view of Key West, kind of, you know, peek back behind um, locals' lives and see what's going on here. southernmost food tasting and cultural walking tour. So my name is Annalise, but before we get into it, let's get your name, nice and loud, Andrew from the UK. Please. I wanted to start a food tour here in Key West because I wanted to show tourists and locals alike that there's so much more to offer. There's a lot of depth to Key West, so you know, people know Key West for water sports and drinking and Duval Street. Those are all fun and good, and I enjoy those activities from time to time, but there's a lot of culture here. Um, there is families that have been here generations, seventh generation cons, they can trace their heritage back to the 1800s. people that are from Key West, Florida. So I was raised here, my mother was raised here, and her parents came over from Cuba having spent most of their lives here in Key West as well. So I'm very passionate about the island. I love it. It's quirky. We got roosters everywhere and art and people. There is a lot of restaurants in Key West. You can go on a lot of different food tours, but I think these are the ones that represent Key West the most. They're the ones that continue to support the local fishing community and buy fresh seafood, and there's nothing better than fresh seafood. So these restaurants really do contribute to Key West cuisine um, in a very local way. get really lucky with everyone on the food tour because people who, the type of person who goes on the food tour is open-minded. They want to try new foods and it kind of just translates into their whole being. So they're just open-minded people in general. They crave new experiences. They crave new cuisine. So it's nice to be around people that are so open-minded and relaxed and just, you know, want to have fun. So I feel like every group I get is amazing. Once you see this eyebrow house, so, this is called a golada, which I want the people to basically leave um, with the memory of having a good time, but to actually know it and understand what it's like to be a local here and why we eat the foods we do and why we go to the places we do and have the experiences we do. So it's definitely a, a peek into our lives and I hope that they feel like they leave a local or you know after three hours they become a local. So that's my whole goal and I do hope they, they feel local when they leave. Be sure to book your Made in Key West food tour today. For more information, check out the website, keywestfoodtours.com.